Yeah. So Cole, Cole, Cole. Can can you remind what's up, me? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Can you remind me, friend? What is our name again? Uh the F U Wrestling Podcast. Damn right. Damn right. Gotta have some cards made to say that. Big F, big U. Then wrestling podcast and tiny little letters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I will expect. Uh, I, I can. Uh, I hope we can expect a new logo in the in the next in the next few weeks here. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm sir. Uh, speaking of new logos, we do have coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it was supposed to be yesterday or to yeah yesterday but it didn't end up happening didn't end up getting recorded last weekend so uh we'll be recording within the next week or two uh for the comic rebellion comic book podcast so uh be sure to listen in look out and listen in for that fairly soon here yeah yeah uh, that one's gonna be a fun one to do uh we're gonna be talking flash i didn't already lined up the the new episode speaking of have you watched black lightning yeah, I watched Black Lightning, man. Black Lightning. All three episodes. Uh, there's three? Yeah. When did the third one come on? I don't know, but it did. Black Lightning. That's my shit right there, man. I'm telling you. Love that show. But yeah, but we're going to be talking that. We're going to be talking about Black Panther that's coming out here in the next couple of weeks. Um, Was joking with one of my friends at the... Uh, <laughs> Was joking with one of my friends at work, told that nigga, I was like, hey, man, you come with me to the premiere of Black Panther? He's like, yeah. I was like, hey, man, wear a dashiki. Wait, no, no, wait a minute. On second thought, don't wear a dashiki. White dude calls himself Star-Lord, my homie. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, don't wear a dashiki because I ain't going to be responsible for you getting jumped at the movie theater. Just just wear something normal. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, dead serious, man. Just don't wear a dashiki, please. I may, but just don't, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah. I, I have to, I have to be real with my friends about that. Uh, you know, speaking of uh, last subject on on the comic books, uh, we're gonna be talking about Black Panther and the uh, opening premiere party where all the actors and actresses came dressed as African royalty, and man, it was beautiful. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, that that's what we're gonna be talking about comic rebellion podcast uh we're also going to have the debut of comic combat towards a debate segment that's going to happen to close out every show monthly show for the comic rebellion so be sure to tune in for all that yeah yeah so what did you think cole of of asuka's promo on on monday night raw me face <laughs> it was I. Uh, it, it was all right, man. <laughs> oh man, it was memorable. You know, and you want to know what's funny is that there was one bit of history that happened that was never mentioned. What happened? Not only do we have two Royal Rumble winners, not only do we have one woman Royal Rumble winner, but both Royal Rumble winners were, were... Japanese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I noticed. Like, I noticed it, but I never heard Cole mention it. I never heard any of the guys mention it. Which, by the way, welcome back, Jonathan Coachman. Glad to have you back. Coach! Coach is back on Monday Night Raw, replacing Booker T, the five-time Five time fired raw commentator. Oh, sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to hit so low like that. I know my bad. Damn. No, he, he's going back to doing the, the panels. He subbed in and, and is back to doing the panels with uh, with what's her name? The blonde chick that married uh, Dean Ambrose. Renee Ambrose. Yeah, Renee Ambrose. Her. <laughs> uh, he's back to doing. He's back to doing uh, the kickoff shows with her. So, but yeah, we got Jonathan Coachman now. And I guess they're going to keep Corey Graves going back and forth. Uh, I think they like, they evidently like Corey Graves on both shows. Fuck Corey Graves. Yep. See, evidently Cole does not like Corey Graves on both shows. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. Uh-oh. I'll tell him that to his face. <laughs> oh, so I was speaking of when I was talking about EC3. Uh, oh, yeah. You got me yeah. sidetracked mm-hmm. that uh, uh-huh. 
Another rumored signee fairly soon here to WWE and should be debuting, they said, in the next few weeks. Is And this is a rumor, no factoids here. Uh, Bobby Lashley. That was why I asked you when I, when when you first texted me about the Royal Rumble. I was like, what, did Bobby Lashley show up? And you were like, no, no Lashley. Is because I read an article saying that, that him and EC3 were headed to WWE. And oh yeah, Bobby Lashley may be being lined up for a feud later this year with uh, with Brock Lesnar. Hmm. Huh. So we may see Lashley, and, and and I would be happy to see that. I would be happy to see that. I like Bobby Lashley. So. As we close out, there is one thing that I wanted to mention, Cole, because you shared the post, and so did my lovely fiance, Carmen. Love you, babe. Um, I guess Impact Wrestling is coming to BTW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is this happening? Um, I don't know. I don't know the date. Oh, I know it's March something. I thought it was at least, or is it February? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we need to find out the date so I can request the day off or at least not pick up a shift that night if it's on a Friday night and I got to try to make it out. I, I'll be off. I'm off on Fridays and Saturdays. That's it. Well, I'm not, I pick up shifts on Fridays, but I'm, I, uh, I'm normally only scheduled Saturday morning, Sunday morning. And then normally I pick up at least two or three shifts midweek. So, but anyway, yes, we will have to make time. So Impact Wrestling coming coming to uh, BTW. We'll find out the exact date by next show and um, let y'all know. But yeah, BT Impact Wrestling coming to BTW. Alberto El Patron, all them boys, Moose, who's now in Impact, all that. Since I guess they stopped using the Global Force and they're back to using Impact. Um, Did they stop using Global Force? I don't know. Like, cause it's even I, even when I see it on Pop now, it's it's Impact Wrestling. So I don't know. I thought it was GFW Impact Wrestling. Is it okay? I think so. Cole, you are probably I ain't, right, I, sir. <laughs> I ain't watched it. I ain't watched it in forever. Me either. Me either. I'm more inclined to pull up my fight app and watch the latest episode of ROH than I am to watch. Uh, impact. And that's just real talk. For sure. So, I'm telling you, man, they hinted at it this week on SmackDown. We're going to see a, a, a confrontation between Day One-ish and the Bludgeon Brothers fairly soon. Might be at WrestleMania. I don't know. You think it's going to be uh, at WrestleMania? I think that I think that the 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 interaction between the two of them or the lack of interaction between the two of them. I believe that it will be. Uh, I believe that it'll be at, at WrestleMania. Like I believe like after fast lane, you're going to see the blood like the Usos will defend and they'll retain and the Bludgeon Brothers are going to come out. And they're going to start looking at the belts. And the Usos are going to be like, come on. And there's going to be a WrestleMania match. And our Universal Champion gets another month off. So instead of defending the belt in the Elimination Chamber, like like the, the ladies are doing, which congratulations, yet another historic moment, which by the way, Yes, every one of these moments is historic, but my God, having them all back to back to back to back is kind of, I don't know, like, I don't want to say it's lessening the importance. It just it just kind of feels like, okay, yeah, it wasn't the last one history, and, and wasn't the last thing you did history, and wasn't, well, God damn it, <laughs> everything's history. So, yes, we are going to have our first ever all women's elimination chamber match for Alexa Bliss's Raw Women's Championship. Any thoughts, Mr. Cole? I think it's going to be cool, man. I think the ladies is going to perform well. Yep. 
Oh, and congrats to to uh to Naomi on having her Kofi Kingston moment. Oh yeah. In the women's Royal Rumble, you didn't see that? Oh yeah, I remember that now, yeah. Yeah, she fell on all the rest of the girls and then landed on top of the uh on top of the fucking whatchamacallit and walked around it and then dragged her ass over to the to the steps. The only part I hated about it is why have her do all that and then have her get thrown out. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. That was just kind of lame. I was like, yeah, you could at least let her stay in there for another couple of minutes or so. Yeah. But I will say this, Cole. I understand that you hate Corey Graves, but I have to agree with something that he said on Monday Night Raw. Fuck what he said. I'm sick and tired of these niggas, the, all these people talking about how long people lasted in the Rumble. Look, bitch, if you didn't last that long and win, it really doesn't fucking matter. You still lost. It doesn't matter if you lasted 30 seconds in the Rumble or you lasted an hour and 15 minutes. You still lost. Your ass still got thrown up over the top rope. Yeah, you lost. I get tired of hearing, well, this person lasted an impressive 37 minutes. Did he win? No. Then shut the fuck up about it. It's not important. Sorry. That was just my rant there. Like, I'm just so, like, I think... Like, we heard about Finn Balor's time. We heard about Rusev's time. We heard about so-and-so's time. I'm just like, none of them won. How long was Shinsuke Nakamura in the in the, in the Royal Rumble? 30 minutes? Okay, now that was impressive. Why? Because he, he won. Same thing with Asuka. She was in it for like 20 minutes. Great. She won. Nah, I like I, I like how you know they talk about Finn Balor lasting that long. I mean, <clears throat> certain things like if you la- if you were Sheamus, mm. you lasted three seconds, two seconds, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, that's important. That's important <laughs> to know, and it's also important to know that Finn Balor, one of your top superstars, almost lasted an hour in the motherfucking Rumble. That's okay. always been a thing, like. I don't get these motherfuckers be like, I was in there for 17 minutes. That don't matter. <laughs> yeah. Now, that that's when you can say, fuck you. That shit don't matter. 17 okay. minutes ass. Fuck that. But fucking uh, an hour. An hour, you know, close to an hour, you know, something like that. 40 minutes, 45 minutes. You know, depending on how long the rumble was, you know, we'll we'll see, you know, how good it is. All right. I I can feel you on that. But the other thing that that gets underneath my skin is she outlasted 29 other women. He outlasted. Come on now, man. You came in at number 25. There was maybe 12 people in the ring when you got in there. You outlasted 12 motherfuckers. 17 of them motherfuckers was not there before you even came in. Man, I got the dopest, freshest motherfucking. Oh, man, I love this logo that I just made. Nice. I'm about to send it to you. All right. But, yeah, y'all, so that, that that's the thing I got an issue with is outlasted 29. No, you didn't. You outlasted six. When you came in at number 30, there were six people in the ring. You outlasted all six of them to win the Rumble. You did not outlast the other 23 people. They were gone before you ever got there. You did not outlast them. Outlast means that you were there before them and you are still them at, there after them. Not you came in after them and, 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 and won the thing. Nah, sorry. But these are phrases that will continue to be used in WWE TV because that's the way it is. That's just my little rant there. Right on, man. I understand. I understand. Got to get it out. Got to get it out. Yep. But that's that. Is, speaking of time, man, we have lasted 59 minutes and 42 seconds on this show. <laughs> oh, we ain't got nothing else to talk about? Do we? You got something else to talk about? Mm. Nah, not really. We can go one one quick round on uh, thoughts on the NXT champions showing up in the men's and women's Royal Rumbles, respectively. 